you guys welcome to another video from skinny medic i've talked about several subjects in my past videos but i thought you know i haven't really went over the basics yet so in this video i'm going to talk about how to manage someone's airway breathing and circulation we're going to start with airway first when you introduce yourself if someone can talk to you their airway is open it means their airway is patent the number one thing that is going to obstruct the airway in an unresponsive patient is the tongue. There's two methods to open the airway. One, if you suspect there's trauma involving, they've fallen or some other trauma, you want to use a jaw thrust maneuver. If your patient has fallen and you think there's trauma involved, you don't want to move the head at all. So holding the head still, you'll just take your fingers and pick up on the jaw right here. The second way to open the airway is a head tilt chin lift. This maneuver is used when you don't suspect any trauma is involved. To open the airway on a non-traumatic patient, meaning there's no trauma involved, you want to take your hand, put it here on the forehead, your other hand, just check the chin, and tilt back. To assess for breathing on a responsive patient, the easiest way is to take the wrist, put it on their stomach or on their chest, and watch it rise up and down. You want to count this for anywhere between 15 seconds to the full minute. If you are very good at math, you can count it for 15 seconds and multiply it by 4. You can also do it 30 seconds, multiply it by 2, or if you'd like, you can count the full minute. If you see that someone's unresponsive, just simply place your hand on their chest. If there's no movement within 15 seconds, they are not breathing. There's two main places you want to check for a pulse. If the person is talking to you, responsive, we're going to check for a radial pulse. On a patient that is talking to you and responsive, the easiest place to check for a pulse is right here at the wrist. Right there, on the wrist. If the person is not responding to you, the easiest way to check is for a carotid pulse, right here at the neck. Once again, thank you for watching. You never know when you're going to be that first responder.